What is up everyone? In today's video we are going to look at my favorite part about the case swapped E30 project. All that in today's episode. My name is Ryan. This is Project Race Car. Let's get into it. So we've been waiting for this box for just so long now and that is okay. They got a little bit backed up. This box contains the wiring harness from wiring specialties. Now, this thing is extremely high quality. Um, they are a very reputable brand and they make great wiring harnesses. But there's something special about this guy. So what's extremely nice about this guy is that it bolts up to all the K-series and then goes to the factory wiring loom uh, to have all the box relays um, and go into the factory chassis harness. So that means that every single gauge on the instrument cluster still works just like factory and the car will operate just like it came factory. So it comes with a, a separate block for a O2 sensor, fuel pump, uh, and the ECU. And then it uses the DC style um, Integra plug and the K20 plug. Um, and that is why we got the Link ECU in this plug configuration. Um, and then uh, everything is very nice and labeled. Uh, if it can focus, this is the knock sensor, the reverse light, and everything is just very well done and very well taken care of. Everything is completely labeled out and it should be all easy plug and play. So let's get this thing actually plugged in and routed. Okay, so first things first, uh, obviously this is a lot of wires, but um, we know where uh, these DC style uh, Integra plugs are supposed to go and that is uh, through the firewall. Um, so we are gonna route all the things uh, in that little hole um, and we are going to start there. So I will be waiting to uh, plug the uh, ECU in until everything is all ready and everything is all plugged in. Um, I'll be able to kind of try a whole bunch of different things and make sure that everything is just completely buttoned up. Uh, that way we don't have any issues with like overloading the ECU or anything like that, right? So there are a couple of different options in terms of wiring harnesses on the market. The reason why I went with spy wiring specialties is because it is an entire loom. Some other companies that are doing the case swap sell uh, just a sub harness, um, and so it just attaches the um, factory uh, K-series wiring harness uh, and is a separate loom, um, whereas this is a full new loom. I don't have to worry about any cut wires or any old wiring. You still have to remember that some of these K-series are reaching 20 years old and so that is their wiring. So I figured I'm spending the money so I might as well upgrade and get a full brand new wiring harness um, that will help me out in the future and I won't have to have any wiring issues. I won't have to worry about anything that could have possibly broken uh, over the course of 20 years. So uh, that is why I went with wiring specialties. It is premium products um, and you will not be disappointed. So now all we have to do is look and see that this is the uh, exhaust cam uh, and so we are going to plug that into this bad boy. Uh, then we would find the uh, intake cam uh, and just plug that one in and we are just going to do that uh, through all of them. So this says coil four so that's going on the number four coil pack and we are just going to slowly route all of this. So the last thing that I will say is that um, they have cheaper versions of these guys on Amazon, on eBay that are rear wheel drive, but uh, if you look at the reviews, people say that they are worth the $100 that you spend um, and you are going to get a $100 quality product. So um, spend the money, do the nice wiring, you won't have issues. 
Uh, and that is the last thing that I will say. This is completely worth it to spend the money on. Um, and this is what you guys should spend the money on. Um, it is such a high quality product uh, and it's specific for rear wheel drive, for this E30, for the K series. And I cannot be happier. So uh, working on this actual wiring harness and uh, looking uh, what everything is labeled, since this is a new engine to me, I haven't really worked on uh, you know the K24 before, um, and so I don't know where a lot of these sensors are. Um, and so you know trying to see stuff like uh, CKP could be like the crank position sensor, so that you know is going to be down there. Um, but uh, VTC, you know VTEC solenoid maybe. Um, but also we have, you know, the oil PSI, so, but we also have VTP, VTS, so trying to figure out where uh, these things go and uh, putting in them in the correct spot is always just a tiny bit time consuming. Um, obviously, all these um, things are completely different, so each one uh, will only go in its specific spot. So it will take me a minute to get everything all situated, but we are going to uh, just throw on a time lapse and kind of get this thing sorted out. You can tell that the um, all of the clips are super nice because they just have this nice satisfying click when they first go on. So a super clean look um, for the uh, injector side is to route them underneath these holes. Um, and so you'll have the entire wiring harness tucked underneath the manifold and then you just route the uh, injectors up. Um, so I think that that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to pull off the uh, intake manifold and we will also access the starter uh, and everything for that. And then we will start just kind of putting everything together. Okay, one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this wire harness in so bad is because I knew that some of the sensors might be wrong because that's just how things go sometimes. Uh, what I've noticed is uh, this one for one, the oil uh, PSI sensor uh, is obviously wrong. So um, I will have to change that one. Uh, the second thing that is wrong is the knock sensor. Um, looking at this one, uh, it's supposed to have a big square opening uh, and this one does not. So. Um, I thought I replaced it with the correct one, but uh, I just ordered that one in and then everything else seems to be uh, pretty straightforward. Um, again, it is just a lot of like wiring and kind of like cleaning up the mess. Um, but overall, it is a pretty stripped down simple harness. Um, so I will get the um, knock sensor in and then that oil pressure sensor. Um, and then we will be able to continue to uh, plug everything in. So I'm going to do a little bit to kind of mess with things and just get everything uh, sorted uh, and make sure that everything is okay. And then once those two sensors get in, we will be able to plug everything in and try to uh, get everything sorted. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to do a bit of wire management, just tucking everything away and kind of getting it to lay flat in the correct spot um, and making sure that just everything is here and that I don't need to order any other uh, pieces. So again, uh, this is a lot of just trial and error and just figuring out what else you need. Um, I also realized that um, I will need the to hook this vacuum source up to um, our fuel pressure sensor or our fuel pressure regulator. 
Um, and so this is, again, the stuff that's very time consuming that always takes the last little bit. And it's important to just stay focused um, and just to take it one little bit at a time. It's very easy to get overwhelmed with something like this. Um, but we are just going to take a deep breath, keep going, figure out where everything goes, and make sure that this thing is going to run correctly uh, on the first go. But unfortunately, this will have to be uh, most likely in two parts. So, um, you know, we are just going to get some stuff figured out. And then uh, when we are ready, uh, we will plug in our Link ECU um, to these nice thick wires. Um, and then we should be able to calibrate two or three sensors and then go for a first start. So, super close. I know we can do it. We are so close and you guys have been showing a crazy amount of love and so I thank you guys so much. But we are just closing in on this last 10%. So I appreciate your guys' patience. We will be starting the car very, very soon. I did want this to be a full video, but I think I'm just going to break it into two parts. Uh, that way you guys aren't just waiting a full another week. Um, obviously this is super exciting. So, so part two will be coming out very soon. And until next time, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, my name is Ryan. This is Project Race Car. Have an amazing day. Peace.